Okay, what can we talk about? Um, how about what's your proudest moment? It's my proudest moment. My proudest moment is when I got appointed to the job of conductor in the Boston Pops. That is such a proud moment. That was a very, very good moment. That was a long time ago. That was like almost 21 years ago, when you were negative 11. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what are three things you can't live without? Ah, oh, let's see. The ocean, music, and really good food and wine. Yes. <laughs> and what is something hardly well, Maybe I should just say really good food. <laughs> 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 What's something hardly anyone knows about you? I snore badly. <laughs> <laughs> and only my wife knows that. <laughs> hey, would you like something better than that? Let's see. Okay. But then Sam will know about it, and then everybody else will know about it. Too. Uh, if I couldn't be a musician, what I'd really like to be is an author and write the great American novel. I think you'd be good at that. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'll send you it if I ever get around to that. Okay. And what is the best part of your job? The best part of my job uh, is 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 people like you who come to the who come to Symphony Hall and hear the Pops play over the course of just this month this these three weeks we play for about eighty thousand people. Oh, that's a lot of people. And uh, and they they all come you know really wanting to celebrate the holidays with the Boston Pops and I like to think that we send almost all of them away uh, in more in the holiday spirit and uh, happier, perhaps kinder, perhaps more thoughtful. And uh, that's the great thing that music can do, and it's great to be able to do that. Yeah, it sounds great to be able to do that. And what is the most challenging part of your job? Endurance. Um, I, uh, I have almost 40 concerts in 22 days, and oh. on top of that, I've got little kids at home who are much harder to take care of than you are because they're much younger. Uh, there's a three-year-old and a five-year-old at home, and they don't care that I've been out working until midnight every night. They're still up at six. <laughs> but uh, no, I think the hardest part of my, of, of my job is, is always trying to maintain a, a level that I'm proud of when I'm performing because there's, there's no time that that I, all of my job is done in front of other people, and I always have to be on. I can never have a bad day at the office. Yeah. Like now, um, when you practice, do you have a bad day? I can, but then the musicians see it, you know. So yeah. uh, there's, there's, uh, so uh, I, you know, we all have bad days because we're all human. We all make mistakes, and we all have better days and worse days. But uh, the the job of a performer is that when it counts, that you are always there and you always bring something wonderful to the audience. So there's always someone watching. Exactly. Yes. And did you always know you wanted to be a conductor? No. No, I didn't. I, my parents weren't musicians. Uh, they gave me the opportunity to do play an instrument, by the way. Yes. I play the piano and the violin. Very good. Are you good? Um, not so good at the violin, but I'm pretty <laughs> well, good. Well, violin is hard to learn, you know. Yes. Piano is, I started on piano too, and then my other instrument was clarinet because my parents wanted to give me a chance to do those things. Uh, but I still didn't know any people who were conductors for a living. I didn't think of that as something that people did, you know, yeah. professionally. Uh, and when I finished high school and went to college, I originally went because I was going to continue to study music, but I was going to go to law school and become a lawyer. Oh, uh, so that's what you wanted to be? That's what I wanted to be because, well, I knew all my, my parents and all my friends' parents were all uh, engineers and mathematicians and those kind of people, and I knew I didn't want to be that. And I knew I liked to, uh, I liked to talk a lot, yes. and, uh, and I liked to read, and I liked to argue, and all those things make a good lawyer. So I thought a lawyer would be something that I would be good at. It's not so much that that's what I wanted to be, it's that that was what it seemed like it would be good for me to be. Yeah. But when I got to college, and um, started moving in that direction, I found that I, I really, that's not really what I wanted to be. What yeah. I wanted to be was a musician. And, uh, but it wasn't until, oh, I was in my early 20s before I turned my ideas about being a musician into being a conductor. Yeah. And, but when you're a conductor, you basically do all those things that you like. 
you do do all those things you like. I've got the best job in the world. Yeah. I, I get to uh, make music not just by myself, but with some of the greatest musicians in the world. You get uh, to read, you read by reading the music. I do. And you argue with some of the people. Yes, um, frequently. Yes, and, and that's all the things you like, so. You're right, so it worked out okay is what you're saying. Yeah. So I shouldn't be disappointed. Good, because yeah. it's too late now to change. Yeah. <laughs> and what's your favorite meal and dessert? What's my favorite meal and dessert? Yes. Uh, my favorite meal would be lobster. Um, and my favorite dessert would be the angel food cake that my mom used to make. <laughs> that sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. So angel food cake and lobster if you ever have a meal. Yeah. <laughs> and what's your favorite song to get up? Oh, there's so many. That's, you know, it's, and um, I, I like to think that my favorite song is everything that, you know, anything that I'm doing, that at that point, it's my favorite song. But yeah. still, there is, that's, that's kind of a cop-out answer. There are, there are some songs I like very much in, in the, in the uh, holiday concert, for instance. I really like to conduct uh, something you'll hear when you coming to the concert, I assume. Yeah. She wouldn't be dressed like this for an interview. Um, the, um, uh, the, there's a, uh, we're doing a, a telling of the, Christmas, of the original Christmas story. And it's, it's really, really beautiful and uh, has beautiful, beautiful music in it that I sang when I went to church when I was a little kid. And I, so I really like uh, conducting that. And I also yeah. like conducting Sleigh Ride a lot because that piece was written for the Boston Pop, so it's kind of oh. ours. Yeah, it's actually the Boston Pop. Exactly. Yeah. And thank you so much for this interview. Happy holidays. You are quite welcome. What, a, what an excellent interview. Do you, do you memorize all this or are they recording it? Um. Um, I sort of memorize it. Ah, and, uh, and will, uh, will it be in, on your on your blog soon? Yes. It will, so I will get a chance to read it? Yes. Okay, you'll spell my name right, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is great to meet you. Great do you want to be, I should ask you, what do you, I'll interview the interviewer, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm a hedge fund manager. A hedge fund manager? Yes. You don't want to be a, a investigative reporter? No. Because hedge fund managers make a lot more money than investigative reporters? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Is your dad a hedge fund manager? Yeah. Is your mom a hedge fund manager? No. <laughs> no. Okay. She, she loves New York City and Wall Street and math. she loves math. And math. Well, yeah. I, I like, I shouldn't mean to be, you know, my, my, my mom is a mathematician. She was the first woman to get a graduate degree from Northwestern uh, University a long time yeah. ago when they, did, when they thought women weren't good at math. <laughs> when they were dumb, uh, <laughs> and uh, and my my father was an uh, electrical engineer for IBM, so I have lots and lots. And my grandfather was a physicist oh, for the government. So anyway, there's there's lots of that. So I was the one who had to go do something else, I suppose. Well, good luck with the hedge fund management thing. My my five year old wants to be an astronaut, and well, you would probably have a better chance of being a, a fund manager than he has to be an astronaut. But he also wants to be a chef, so he then thought that maybe he could open a restaurant in space. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should interview him. He's got much more interesting things to say. <laughs> it's really good talking with you. Thank you. Enjoy Thank the you.